the way limit order works is if I'm going to buy using limit order, the price I'm going to sell must be lower than the current market price. And if I'm going to sell using limit order, the price I'm going to set to sell with that limit order must be above the current market price. Because the way limit order works is that if I specify a price, now let's say I want to buy this coin at this price, let's say at 0 point, at 10 cent. And then I use limit order. If I go ahead and do at 10 cent, this will automatically buy it for me with market order. That is because the exchange tells you that instead of you waiting for the market to get up here, we can buy here for you because this price is better than the price you have specified. And the reason for that is because the price you want to buy is higher okay, than the current market price. But when you are selling, you're using limit order, the price must always be what? Higher than the current market price. And then when you're buying the market, the price must always be lower than the current market price. I just want you to understand that. Okay, so that is how you take the signals. If it is market order, use market order. If it is limit order, use limit order. Now, when you want to set the option for a price that is higher and lower and all of that, you use conditional order. Okay, conditional order, if I click on it, you have a trigger price and then you have the order price. So let's assume that I want to short this market. Okay, I want to short this market. When Let's assume that you have done your analysis and there is a strong um, support at this area. And then you are waiting for the market to break down, um, you know, through that support. So when it breaks down, that is when you want to enter the trade. Okay, so what you can do now is that when this market gets to this support, what is the price at that support? You put the price at the trigger, as the trigger price. Then beneath it, okay, the price, the other price will now be slightly below that price you want to enter. You now put that as your other price. You select the percentage of the trading capital you want to use. You go ahead and open if it is long or short. And that will be pending here. Okay, that trade will be pending. Once it, it reaches that target, the trade will automatically place, okay, an order for you, which will now start going in, in, your, pro, in, in, in your favor, okay, in profit or against you, depending, okay, on what you want to achieve. All right? Now, when you open your trades, you will see the trade showing down here. Okay, whenever you open a trade, you will see the trade showing down here. Now, on the position tab here, this is where you see the trade that is currently running, just like you see this one now. Okay, this is a trade that is currently running on the position tab, right? If I click on the close P and L, you will see all of the trades that have closed. If I click on current order, okay, you will see orders, pending orders, okay? Pending orders, these are all limit order. I want to buy more of this token when it gets to a certain price, you'll see it here. Now, if you have set take profit and stop losses and all of that, you will see your take profit and stop loss level when you click on the TP option. If it is conditional, if it is take profit, if it is trailing stop, you will see all of that here once you come to the current orders. Okay? And then other history, trade history, this is where you see all of your history. But Okay? Now, on this position that is running now, the summary here is that I am shorting with a 10 leverage on the cross margin TRX. Okay? And the quantity I'm shorting is about 21,000, right? The value of this, if I was not using leverage, would have been 1,600 USDT. Okay, my entry price was at 0 0.07717. And the current market price is at 0 0.07696. Okay, I will be liquidated if this market goes against me and it gets to 11 cents. I will be liquidated. Once I'm liquidated, because I'm using cross, I will lose the whole of this money you see here. This is the margin that I'm using. Okay, about 165 USDT. That is the margin. So if I'm liquidated, I will lose this. But because I'm using cross, once I'm liquidated, I will lose the whole of my trading capital. If my trading capital is $1,000, $2,000, I'm going to lose that. All of them. All right. And then the unrealized P and L, this is your profit. Okay. When it is, um, when you're in losses, it will show red. Okay. It will show red. Then the up in USDT is the amount, the profit you made so far, and then the percentage is in bracket, okay? The return on investment in percentage is in bracket. You see that here, all right? Now, if I scroll to the right, okay, if I scroll to the right, you see, realize this is calculated based on fees, based on the funding fee and all of that. You always see this realized p &L. If it is plus, it is good for you. If it is minus, it means that both fee depending on how long you've been holding that trade and funding fee and all of that is calculated for that then take profit level this is where you set your take profit so um if you do not set it when you enter the trade you can go ahead and click on the set take profit level 
all right and then use this percentage slider to set your take profit level and all of that after that you go ahead and click on confirm then when the trades are going in your favor you want to use trailing stop you don't want to close it okay for instance i can cancel this take profit now since it is in profit and use trailing stop all right and then you just go ahead and click on add trailing stop okay when i add trailing stop it will not tell you by distance okay you can decide to add by distance or by rate it all depends okay um now when you say by distance it tells you that it's price retracement in terms of price distance from the best price recorded since activation okay then they uh, if you are doing by rate it is price retracement in terms of percentage okay from the price recorded since activation so if i use distance um and go ahead and put what i will now put is in terms of price okay in terms of price not by rate the rate will be percentage but since i'm doing by distance i will not say if this market moves by either hundred dollars or fifty dollars or you know sixty dollars change and all of that and it will give you the calculation somewhere around here all right you go ahead and click on confirm and all of that when i have a trade that is in big profit where i want to set trailing stop i will show you how that works and how it follows the market as the market continues to move trailing stop will be moving with it all right then when you retrace it back by the amount of money you have added here instead of the trailing stop or your stop loss to move it will be stagnant it will remain there that is the beauty of trailing stop then when you hit that stop loss it closes your trade in profit okay but when it is going in your favor the trailing stop will continue to adjust your stop loss to be following it to be following the market when it gets to a certain level you make profit in that and basically that is it all right that is it about taking the signals you know with you know buy bid exchange and all of that any question as regards that all right okay go ahead this condition like this uh this is the yes, Bell. Yeah, uh, is Bell. So I use conditioner. So I don't understand the between that trigger price and that order, but I should put the same thing that you know, that limit order, that limit price. I used to put the same thing, trigger price and that order price. I don't think I'm correct. Okay, let me yes, let I'm me. This I don't I I need to understand the. What's that? You understand that training uh, training loss. Trailing, yes, that is what I'm saying. Trailing stop. Um, I, we'll look at trailing stop differently. Okay, I'll explain better with the example of a trade ongoing. So if this current trade goes in a bigger profit, I will set trailing stop. Then the next time I'll show you how that works. Right okay now for the bell okay the bell i gave you an option to enter the price okay the price i wanted you to enter is at zero please can you mute yourself now for the trailing stop i gave the entry price to be zero point i think 80 or thereabout i can't remember but let's just use 80 because i was thinking the market will continue to pump to the upside before retracing back all right now since it is remember that i said if you are using limit order and you want to sell okay if you are use, using limit order and you want to sell the price has to be what above the current market price then when you are when you are using limit order and you want to buy the price has to be below the current market price now because we are going to short you don't need to use conditioner okay because we are going to short because the price here is above we are going to short and the price is above the current market price so use just use limit order all right you just use limit order and put 0.80 here you don't need to use conditioner please understand this you don't need to use conditioner then if i say i'm using 10 percent of my capital i can come in here down here and say i want to sell stop loss it is short so i'll go to the short option and say okay i want to take profit when it goes by 10 percent and then i want to set my stop loss at five percent and all of that so if I go ahead and confirm this and then go ahead and click on open short, then it will tell me to confirm this. I'll go ahead and click on confirm. Okay. 
the trade has been placed successfully as you can see here the trade has been placed successfully this is the trade you are seeing on my chart here okay the trade is showing up on, on my chart here it means that if the market goes up and get to this level this trade will be triggered waiting for the market to come down for me to make profit but if it continues to go up i'll be losing then when it comes down when it reverses from this area and comes down i'll be making profit okay so what i want you to understand is that when i tell you to enter a trade if it is short okay if it is a short trade it is a limit trade it is a limit order that you are going to use and in that for you to know that it is a limit order the price must be above the current market price right but if it is a long trade if i'm saying buy the price must be below the current market price if for instance i go ahead and click on this limit option and i want to buy long okay if i want to buy long with this current market price now okay and then my limit order is 0 0.8 0 0.8 is higher than 0 0.72 which is the current market price here okay if i go ahead and buy long it will trigger with the current market price what is the reason for that the exchange will tell you that instead of you waiting to buy at 0 0.08 which is higher we can buy now for you because the price the current price is better than that price you have specified to buy right but if i'm going to buy that is when i'm going to use conditional order if the price is above the current market price and i want to buy that is when i will now use conditional order so since the uh, entering is 0 0.8 what i will now do is that i will enter immediately it gets to 0 0.081 for instance okay so the trigger price is when you want the exchange to prepare to trigger your trade okay the difference should not be that much the difference should not be that much so if this one is this this should be slightly above it if it is to sell then this should be slightly below it all right so if it is buying the other price should be slightly above the trigger price then if you are selling the other price should be slightly above the trigger price all right so in this case if i'm going to buy i use 10 percent of my order I'll go ahead and click on what opened long all right now when i click on open long the dialog box pops up and then i'll go ahead and click on confirm now you see that it has equally been triggered it did not complain it did not enter with market order why is that because i am using conditional order okay if you use conditional order to buy long and the price is currently above the current market price it will be triggered but when you use limit order to buy long and the price you are setting is currently above the market price the trade will go in with the current market price for you so this is why one thing i want us to understand between the difference between limit and conditional okay limit is if you are buying the price has to be what below the current market price if you are selling the price has to be what above the current market price why conditional you can use it to set vice versa whether the price is below or above or that it doesn't matter all right so if you understand this you should be able to get a better understanding of all i'm trying to uh, explain now if i come to current orders here these are all the trades that i've set so i'll go ahead and cancel that of bell so if i hover over the bell trade here i'll go ahead and click on cancel and to cancel that trade for me okay but the long trade is still here why because uh, I need to go to where it says conditional. As you can see, conditional is showing zero, um, in bracket one. So I need to go to the conditional order and equally cancel that trade. Okay? So I'll cancel that and you can no longer see it on the chart here. I don't know if that is, you understand that, uh, Israel. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Good. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. So let's go to the next one. If we all understood that, let's go to the next option.